Hello everybody, Amanda Davis here, and I'm here to make a difference by teaching what I know and sharing with you what I know, and I'm also here today as an Avon Independent Sales Representative in the United States of America, and I wanted to share with everybody some summer skincare tips, and so I'm going to go ahead and get right into those. So my first tip is going to just start with your diet and eating well and making sure that you drink plenty of water. And you want to make sure that you're um, drinking plenty of water for other reasons, too. I know here uh, in Virginia this last week we've had a major heat wave where the temperatures have been in the 100s. And it's just been really um, difficult to stay hydrated. So you want to make sure that you stay hydrated anyway. But that does help with your skin, too, year-round, not just in the summertime. And then... Um, so that's tip number one is eating well and drinking plenty of water and then tip number two is don't forget to make sure that you're taking care of your lips with SPF now that can be as simple as a plain lip balm that has SPF in it or I know something that I like to use is the Avon Beyond Color lip conditioner it doesn't have any color to it it's just a lip conditioner with SPF 15 um, and then there's also, if you wanted to have some kind of color, our Beyond Color lipsticks do offer color. Um, so here's one of those. And that one, this color is the um, Pucker Up color. And so that's just a nice pink lipstick. And that one does have SPF 15 in it as well. So either using something like the lip conditioner or a lip balm underneath your lipstick, or if you're a man, obviously just have the lip balm with your SPF. Or, um, you know, if you're looking for a lipstick that has SPF, this is one that's a good one to check out. And then um, you want to, so that's tip number two, is don't forget about your SPF on your lips. Tip number three is to change up your skincare routine. So just like you change, um, like I'm wearing a tank top now, in the winter I might be wearing a sweater. So just like you change your fashion to go with the seasons, you also are going to want to change your skincare routine. So versus using a day cream all the time, you're going to want to probably switch to a lighter formula like this day lotion. And this is the a new Vital Day Lotion with SPF 25. So that's something else. You want to make sure that you're definitely putting SPF on your face. Um, and so this is the new Vital SPF um, 25 Day Lotion. And it's a lighter formula. It also helps a little bit to reduce the appearance of pores. And um, men can check out if, well, men could use this one. Um, but there's another one that I'm going to talk about in a second that men can use that my dad is actually starting to use himself. So, um, or just any kind of day lotion, um, SPF on your face is just going to be important to have. And then um, exfoliate is tip number four. So for your, your arms and your legs, you want to get yourself a good body scrub. This one here is the Planet Spa Blissfully Nourishing Body Scrub with um, African shea butter but you want to get a good body scrub for your arms and your legs and use that a couple of times a week and then you want to have something that you can use to exfoliate your face so any kind of at-home peel is a good thing to do that with Avon has these um, its pads it's the new clinical peels there's two of them there's this one which is just the re uh, advanced retexturizing peel with glycolic acid and then there's this one which is the uh, extra strength peel and um, extra strength retexturizing peel so advanced and extra strength <laughs> um, and the advanced just has the glycolic acid in it it has 10% um, I do believe is and then this one has the um, it's a multi acid complex so it has glycolic acid but it has some other ones too and personally I like this one for exfoliation because see this here when you use this a couple of times in a week like something like that goes away um, so I like the extra strength one personally but I have a customer that started using this one and her dermatologist actually complimented her on her skin and was surprised that she was using an Avon product that was over the counter so um, something like this is good and that's for your face and then for your body you want to make sure that you switch to a body scrub and um, 
then I've already talked about SPF, but that's tip number five, is obviously making sure that you're protecting your skin with sunscreen, with SPF. And if you're allergic to SPF, uh, I, my recommendation would be to figure out ways to stay out of the sun as best as you can, um, just because it is, you know, sun damages our skin. So <laughs> that's a fact of life. I mean, vitamin D is good for you, but the sun also damages your skin. So you want to limit your exposure. Um, so that's why we do have sunscreen. And plus, when the more you get sunburned and stuff like that, the more freckles and things like that start to pop up on your skin. So I pulled the Skin So Soft Bug Guard. Um, this one is actually the disappearing color. But there's also just the Gentle Breeze Bug Guard SPF um, 30. And the nice thing about this product is it's also protecting you from all of the nasty bugs that come out in the summer. Mosquitoes and ticks and um, all of those, are you're, you're being protected from those with this as well. And we have other Bug Guard products too that you can check out. Um, I know this one's mainly for kids. The Gentle Breeze would be for anyone. And then there's also um, our Green Expedition Bug Guard also offers SPF to it. And I know a lot of fishermen and hunters use that. Um, so that's something to check out as well. Your SPF and your bug sprays. <laughs> um, and then... Besides our the regular day creams and day lotions, there's also this a new Skin Invincible day lotion that's fragrance free, and it's good for your SPF on your face because it actually offers SPF 50 to it. And my dad has started using this one because he started using the Anu Min moisturizer that we had with SPF 50, and then that one has actually since been discontinued. So I got him to start using the Skin Invincible. And so that SPF is going to definitely be important. And then if you don't necessarily get it with your day creams and your day lotions, something as simple as having SPF in your makeup, this is a primer, um, but it has SPF 20 to it, can help protect your face from the sun as well. And so this is the Avon Magic's Face Perfector Primer. Um, you can also just, some people wear it as like a found, as a foundation concealer without necessarily putting on foundation concealer. This is very lightweight, colorless, goes with for anybody, and um, again, just helps with that SPF protection. And then the final one is to, um, at night, you want to use some kind of hydrating mask, and so you can try out the a new clinical hydration mask and I personally do like this I like how it makes my skin feel I wake up in the morning and I feel like my skin isn't as oily as it is when I don't use it because um, obviously our skin regenerates itself and that kind of thing so a lot of times I'll wake up in the morning and my skin's feeling really oily and I think that's because it's trying to regenerate itself and, and things like that but when I have the mask on and I wake up it doesn't feel that oily and I think it's because the mask has helped it do um, its natural process of hydrating and, and, and you know rejuvenating but it's also just lessened the natural oils that have to come out because of the fact that I have the mask on and the um, Avon recommends that you try putting this in your refrigerator and then you can put it on your face at night after a long warm day and it just cools down your face and it feels really good <laughs> but I personally have not tried it in the refrigerator yet but that was a tip from Avon so to recap you want to make sure starting with your diet that you're eating well and drinking water and then don't forget to put SPF on your lips and of course also on your face and your body and then lighten your skincare routine switching from day creams to day lotions exfoliate your skin and also um, you know you can give your skin that extra treat with the masks so thank you so much for watching I do appreciate it for more tips you can contact your Avon representative you can also um, you can go to my store which is bit.ly slash Amanda Beauty Shop will redirect you to my Avon personal website and that um, there's on there there's a, a blog called the Avon Insider blog and these tips did actually come from that blog and I just kind of put a little bit of my own spin on it and tips with it so <laughs> thank you so much for watching I do appreciate it 
uh, do feel free to check out my account, see some of the other things that I talk about. They're not all um, beauty or Avon related. Um, and I will see everybody with my next video. Bye guys. Thanks again.